and I will fit all these little videos back you know, together but it's difficult when there's people walking you can't help it you've got to it's lovely that the ferns and these lovely plants can't remember their names now that's uh yeah so we've got uh, the leadership race going on for who's going to be the new prime minister Boris Johnson and some other bloke I can't I never remember that other bloke's name so I ought to know it but I just can't remember it um, I can see his face I know I, I know who he is but I can't remember his name uh, you can't forget Boris Johnson can you anyway basically I don't I am not a Tory so I wouldn't vote for either of them if it ups up to me I would I wouldn't even allow us to leave I, I, I would want another vote on it no more evidence has come to light what it's all about everyone went into it voting blind if you ask me you keep going on about the people vote for it half of us didn't and the other half that did vote wish they hadn't to be quite honest the only people who benefit of leaving with no deal are the super rich. Because they always make money out of any situation. Because it gives them more control. More ability to exploit. You see? Less rules to control them. That's what's happened in your hand. It were those that voted, I wish they hadn't, have handed them the key. Right, basically. So that's just, I always give a few bits of information about what's going on in the world when I do a video. And this is the 16th of July, 2019. There's all sorts of things going on. Global warming is a big issue at the moment. And the deforestation of the tropical forests is a very, very serious concern for our planet for the balance of the carbon dioxide levels and all that sort of thing. And the permafrost melting and the release of the methane gas and the flooding and the storms that will come with all that. So there is quite a whirlwind of stuff going on. Famine, poverty. There's a lot going on. As there always will be, I expect. Yeah, I've walked this path quite a few times. Either way, I've done it. There's my town over there. That's where I live. My beautiful hill fort. I spend a lot of time up there in the woods. I love it up there. And I, I like to have a break from going to some places. Um, the video, I mean, because uh, I've, I've, <laughs> I have. It allows me to have a nice, wider circuit of places to visit. Uh, and I've also got to consider the fact that, one, I might not always have my Alberta, my camper van, to cart me further afield. So I need to know where I can go, where I can use public transport. Um... I'm not getting any younger, and this setback with limes has uh, made me realise um, how awful it is to get old because you get tired. But I'm battling it. I've uh, had the antibiotics, so we've probably caught it in time. As long as I don't get bitten again today. You can get reinfected, by the way, even though you've had the antibiotics. Even though you've been bitten by a tick, it doesn't guarantee you any Im immunity. I'll be right up there later. Lots of little places you can sneak in if you needed to use the nature's places. Um, I expect that is a very common spot for a lot of people in there. It's handy to know them, by the way, because they don't provide any sort of place. You have to do what you can when you're out, if you have to. 
there is a breeze. It's a warm breeze. Um, there are various paths, which I have explored in the past, by the way. But I told myself you're not to do it today. The risk of picking up a tick is much greater if you wander into the growth. So Sheila will not be doing that today. Right, over and out for a minute. Another quick video, because you can bet your life someone will come up behind me. Walked along one side to the fort now. There's Weston over there. Brown back pair. And here we've got the fort. And just in front of me, there's another rock with a number eight on. And that is part of the Route 33 walk from uphill from to here, eight miles. Eight miles, and that's what if I walk back, that's what I've got to do. Plus another couple of miles because um, It's a lovely gentle breeze. Like I said, I've described all this on other videos in detail. I've been in all the rooms before of the fort. I've been down there, I've been right round the corner, walking right round. Cows on top of the hill where I've got to walk on the way back by the look of it. So I'm look. I don't think they tend to be any problem. But they're up there at the moment, look. I just walk around there. Lovely walk, lovely peaceful walk. Steep home, flat home. And here we've got the the fort that was defences were put up here over centuries, millennia. This has been a defensive position. And of course I've been on I've been in every bunker I've videoed hundreds of photos before so I'm not going to really do a lot of that today Well, over and out for a minute. 